It's impossible to live your life as a creative and not be aware of what Barron's done. His work has infiltrated so much of our culture. His images have created so much of what we know about those artists. I met Jan Winter, who had the idea, along with Ralph Gleason, to publish a magazine that spoke to the people who love music and to the musicians. He says, you want to be the photographer? I said, sure, I'll be the photographer. I'll shoot for free in exchange for stock in the company. And I said, by the way, you can use the pictures any way you want, but I own them. And that was how it started. And that was April 67, and the first issue of Rolling Stone came out in November 67. I thought, I'm just going to ask him if he'd let me reinterpret some of his photography. The first word that came to my mind, yes! I'm going to be doing a blind contour of Baron Woolman's famous Woodstock photo. I've collaborated with a lot of different artists. They'll take a photograph and they'll graphically change it or something like that, but never like a one-on-one -on -one working together where we talk about, you know, the end result and how to make it good. I just think it's going to be a successful collaboration for sure. I don't look when I'm blind contouring. But afterwards I always look because I have to be able to shade it in and bring it to life. You gotta follow your bliss. You gotta look inside and see what interests you and go do it. Look at her turkey. It's a roast turkey face. God damn it, it's working. So far, so good. Because I gotta work with this woman. She's crazy, man, I love her. And this is the other thing I learned. For every opportunity that comes your way, you need to say yes. Because if you say no, you don't know what you're saying no to. You might be saying no to the best opportunity you've ever had. She's doing things that I would never think about doing and talk. Or admitting. Or admitting. <laughs> like the bathroom where you climbed out of the window. I never did this, not me.